Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna look at what are some of my summer essentials for your skin, to prep your skin either for self-tanning for the warm months or um, if you don't self-tan, which some years I don't, some seasons I don't, um, you just wanna get your skin in really good, moisturized, exfoliated shape so that you feel more comfortable wearing dresses or shorts or whatever it is that you might wear. So um, first, what I like to do is prep before a shower. I will use one of these brushes with the um, boar bristle, the natural bristles. And if you've watched YouTube for a while, you'll, you'll have seen people who dry brush. And I watched them for a while and I thought that's just an extra step that I really don't want to do. But then I bit the bullet and did it. And I'm so glad I did because especially as you get older, your skin um, gets a certain texture or a certain look to it. And this does amazing things for the softness of your skin. So it only takes about two minutes. You start at your feet, you, um, before you get in the shower, dry brush your skin up towards your heart all of the skin that you want to be affected, you know, and your arms and your back and everything. I like the ones with the long handles. This cost about $5 at Target because I can reach everything. The ones that come, you know, off and are just in the palm of your hand are a little bit harder for me to reach. So I really enjoy doing this. It's kind of a different sensation when you first do it, but if you try it a second time, it's funny how you get kind of addicted to that energy, you get kind of an energetic sort of invigorated feeling before you get in the shower. And then um, also what I like to use, not always, but sometimes are these Eco Tools scrubby gloves that you can pick up in any drugstore and supermarkets too. They're not very expensive. And you can just use your regular shower gel, soap, whatever, and scrub and get a good um, exfoliation with these as well. Also, depending on um, how I'm feeling. I like a sugar scrub typically, but um, I got from Trader Joe's, I got this lavender salt scrub. And you ha the only thing you have to do is you have to watch out. The shower floor gets a little bit slippery. It's kind of, it's pretty moisturizing, but I love this salt scrub because it isn't drying on my skin. It's very moisturizing and smells really good, feels really good, your skin, is soft and smooth and I'm loving that. So that's for my body. And then for the heels of my feet, the bottoms of my feet, I will, my feet are in pretty good shape. So I don't do um, like baby foot or those kind of extreme peels. I don't go in for pedicures. Usually I just take care of it at home. But this is something I do year round actually in the shower are these Spongibles, I got mine at King Supers or Kroger, um, if you're somewhere else. Petty Scrub Infused Foot Buffer. This is a pack of two. And what they look like are these little sponges. They've got a sponge on one side and then kind of a scrubby, almost like your kitchen sponge on the other side. And they're hard when you first open them and full of soap. So you wet them and then you soap up your feet and then turn this over and scrub, scrub, scrub. And I really appreciate these because when you have done your nails or if you have a really nice manicure, you don't necessarily wanna put these scrubby gloves on because I feel like it's kind of more prone to scratch your, your manicure, your nail polish. So I'll do this on my feet, and then um, on top of that, I'll pick up one of these little sugar files. This is by Onyx, and they're flexible and really inexpensive. So you just scrub your feet a little bit with that, and good to go. When you get out of the shower, I like a good body butter. I really enjoy good smelling, creamy, thick body butters. I live in a dry climate. If I were in the South, I probably wouldn't, but I'm in Colorado, it's very dry. So um, I love this Trader Joe's coconut body butter. I love the smell of coconut. This is just um, so delicious smelling. I've gone into restaurants, stores, and had people stop me and ask me what I have on, what lotion I have on. It's got this nice little flip top, it's pretty inexpensive at Trader Joe's, but I've also used the Alba Botanical um, Papaya Mango, I think is what it's called, and that smells 
wonderful too. And I love those tropical sets for the summertime. And so when I'm not doing that kind of thick sort of creamy lotion, either um, at, usually at night, I've mentioned this before, it's the Alpha Skincare Revitalizing Body Lotion with 12% glycolic AHA. This, I got at Ulta, it is pricey. It's $16, not on sale. I've gone through half of a bottle here. I have another backup. This was so surprising and shocking to me how even after the first night's use, I woke up in the morning and saw a difference with my skin. And you don't see a difference usually with lotion. It's just okay, maybe you're a little softer, or a little smoother. This was very smoothing. You get those little dots, you know, the little um, bumps on the back of your arms. I'll get a little bit, and or my legs. And this, one night, I could tell a huge difference. So give it a shot, give it a chance. But that you don't put on after shaving. That would be more, um, if you shower and shave at night, you'd want to put it on in the morning or the other way around, and you need to use SPF because of the AHA. So also, what I like to do for my face is to exfoliate my face as well, because I do a little bit of self-tanning, I'm going to this summer anyway, <clears throat> self-tan my face. So I picked up this TLC Sakari Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant. It's a once weekly, um, AHA, BHA peel or exfoliate, exfoliation. I, I guess it's not a peel, but um, you put on a thin layer. It's slightly tingly. I left it on for 15 minutes. It says 20, and I wanted to just make sure I could tolerate it well, and I did. And that, that day, my skin felt so super soft. Loved it. But I prefer a chemical exfoliator to a physical exfoliator. My skin does not respond very well. I have little capillaries and things, and if I use even a gentle physical exfoliant, it gives me a little bit of trouble. So I really like the chemical ones. I haven't looked into the drugstore chemical exfoliators, unfortunately, but I do know that there are several really nice ones that are physical exfoliants, if you like that. There's an Aveeno Positively Radiant 60 Second In Shower Facial that Emily Noel spoke about, and she said that it was a really, really nice physical exfoliant for your face. So you could give that a try if you enjoy those more. And then, um, of course, you want to use sunscreen. So for my face right now, I'm using the Obazi, Obagi Sun Shield. It has a tint. It's an SPF broad spectrum 50. It is a mineral sunscreen. For my face, I like to use mineral sunscreens, not the chemical sunscreens. They both work really well, but my skin is a little sensitive to the chemical sunscreen, so I prefer the mineral ones. But for my body, I can use the chemical ones. It's fine. And I found that I really enjoy this Trader Joe's Face and Body Sunscreen Lotion, broad spectrum SPF 30. It's water resistant, enriched with vitamin C and E. It's a lightweight formula, it's not thick. It absorbs very quickly. But there are a lot um, in the different stores. Whatever works well for you, you just need to use it every day. So that's how I prepare my skin for the summertime. I may or may not do a um, self-tanning video. We'll see how it goes. I am testing out. Um, Josie Marin facial self-tanner and Avita Liberata that I got on major sale for my body and so far I'm liking it but I've only used them twice so we'll see if I end up doing that. So thanks so, so much for stopping by and watching my video. Please subscribe, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful and I'll see you next time. Thanks, have a great day.